Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction. <laughs> Today we are back for another video where I declare my goals to you all in hopes that it helps keep me accountable. My first video that I ever made on YouTube was 10 things that I wasn't going to buy in 2023. And just putting that out there has really helped me stick to those goals. But just those 10 things was not good enough for me. As time passed and we rolled into spring, I noticed that there were new temptations that I wasn't necessarily having back at the end of December when I had originally posted that video. So I set another goal for myself of 10 things that I wasn't going to buy in spring. Over the last couple weeks, I've been making a list of the things that I've noticed myself being drawn towards, but I don't necessarily need to buy. And then some things that I suppose could be considered need, but, oh, there was just a couple dragonflies making more dragonflies. <laughs> what was I saying? All right, so long story short, here we are. It's summer and I've got another list of 10 things for you that I am not going to buy for the next three months. I think that doing this has been really important. I feel like I've become a tad more responsible with my spending. Am I cured of impulse buying? Absolutely not, but that is the ultimate goal and we're just making seasonal steps here. So number one might seem kind of odd for summer, but I'm not going to buy any more sunscreen. As I've walked around my house the last couple weeks and dug in bags and even gone to my parents' house, I found at least five tubes of the kids' sunscreen that we use and I know that I have enough of my own to last me through the next three months. So if we run out, yes, I will purchase more, obviously, but I don't know if anybody else out there is just a sucker for marketing. They just do a good job and I'm a sucker for a cute bottle, it, really just anything with empty promises. Number two is water bottles. There's obviously a sense of urgency for hydration this time of year. And when I feel the need to drink more water, for whatever reason, I think that buying a vessel to hold the water in is going to solve all of my problems with any lack of hydration that I might be experiencing at the time. But I have a water bottle. The boys have at least three each. And really, worst case scenario, we drink out of a mason jar. Does anybody else ever feel like water bottles will solve all their life problems? All right, number three, I can do it. I can do it. It's very broad, but also very specific at the same time. Anything from Target that is not on my list. I've honestly been trying to steer clear from Target altogether, but it is the only place that sells the Millie Moon diapers, which I have become a huge fan of. So if I say here that I'm only ever gonna go to Target for the diapers, then I can only go to Target for the diapers. Number four, dresses. This time of year, I just always imagine myself in a long, flowing cotton floral gown, doing yard work, hanging laundry out to dry, gardening. But 99% of the time, do I gravitate towards any of the dresses that I have in my closet? Absolutely not. I grab my stained denim shorts and one of my husband's t-shirts. I love imagining myself in a cottage core life, but it is really just not my reality. <laughs> Number five is summer clothes for the kids specifically. It's my downfall. Everything is extra cute in the summer and half of the stuff that is really cute isn't cute anymore when they played in it for a day. So no more summer clothes for the kids unless for whatever reason they are unable to be clothed. And at that point we'll cross that bridge. But to be completely honest, Alec, my toddler, has probably spent the majority of his summer just in a diaper. One, it's adorable and two, it's cut down on a lot of laundry. Number six is baby wipes. For my baby shower, I asked for a baby wipe solution called Baby Bits. Anyway, they're like tiny soap cubes that you dissolve in a spray bottle and it's just a wipe solution that you can spray on a reusable wipe. And I got reusable wipes for a baby shower gift as well and I was in a really good habit of using those for number ones. I will 100% use disposable wipes for number twos. Sorry planet, I just can't do it. That's laundry I can't invest my time and energy in. But long story short, about eight months ago, the bottle that I had the solution in ran dry and I was too lazy for a very long time to make more. And it wasn't that I was too lazy, it was like, I need to make more of this solution. And I never did. And then the reusable wipes just kind of disappeared here and there. But I recently just cut up a receiving blanket and a couple of onesies. And now I'm restocked in the reusable wipe department. I made the solution. We've been using those wipes again for number ones. Things are fine. I have enough wipe to last me through the next several months if I do stick to my goal of using the reusable wipes again. Number seven is camping supplies. I need for us to this year just use what we have. I guarantee that between all of our camping supplies that we have at this moment, what we have in our house that we can bring with us when we go camping, 
will not result in our demise by any means. Our large tent that we had got last summer recently blew away in some pretty intense winds on our camping trip that we were on on Memorial Day weekend and every part of me wanted to replace it but we're just going to get extra cozy in the small dome tent that we have. We'll be snug but the four of us will fit. How much time are we actually going to be realistically spending in our tent other than sleeping? So I'm curious to see how this will go. It's either going to be miserable or we're gonna end up using this tent for the next hundred years because I guarantee the tent that we're going to be using now is probably a hundred times sturdier than the one that blew away like Dorothy's house. Number eight, probably kind of weird, but fish. Josh's doctor recently told him that he needs to be having fish at least three times a week. And if you have bought high quality salmon from your local grocer, you know is not a bargain by any means. And how is Josh going to eat fish, you ask, if we're not buying fish? Well, I just need to suck it up and let him go fishing a lot more than he does. I might even try and come with one time, but we'll see. All right, number nine is dinner for delivery. This is something that I have been cutting back on, but I feel like when summer rolls around, I get overwhelmed with things and I allow myself to get lazy. And part of me kind of feels like if I'm not willing to get dressed and leave my house to physically go to a restaurant and have that kind of experience with my husband or with us as a family, I don't need to be ordering food from another place to have it at my house. At that point, I need to just rally and cook dinner. I do feel like I fall back on that more often than I really should. So I'm just gonna see how I fare if I cut it out of my life all summer. I'll be okay. Oh, P.S. if you can't tell, it's the 4th of July when I'm recording this. All right, last but not least, number 10. Again, kind of in the food category, store-bought desserts. I don't know what it is lately, but I have come home with far more store-bought lemon bunt cakes and cupcakes than I have in probably, I don't know, it's been a long time. I think I'm just craving and wanting a baked good. I used to bake a lot more than I do now, and it's something that I do really enjoy, but I've kind of avoided it just because it's hard to do with kids. And I know people bake with their kids all the time, and maybe I'm a terrible mother because I don't bake with mine all the time. I find it overwhelming, but I just want to give it a shot again. I want to start baking more with the kids. And if I'm not baking with the kids, then just give myself the opportunity to bake solo because I find it peaceful and in a creative outlet that I did once upon a time really enjoy and I'm ready to bring it back into the mix. And I think having the goal of no store-bought desserts is going to get me back in the kitchen in a positive way and whatever I make in my kitchen is probably still healthier than what I would get from the store and that's me validating having dessert. So that's that. Those are the 10 things that I'm crossing off of my shopping list for for at least the next three months. My goal is to just get in a habit of not buying these things unless it is a dire need. But I am curious, does anybody else find themselves drawn towards purchasing different things at different times of the year? I guarantee I'm not the only one out there, but it's always just fun to compare notes. Thanks for hanging out with me again. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you would like to join me on my journey to wannabe minimalism, I post weekly garden updates on what's happening in our garden, as well as weekly videos really just regarding whatever's going on in my life. Whether it be whatever cleaning project I'm working on at the time or whatever hobby I'm investing a little love into, there might be something for you. But that's it for today. Thanks for tagging along and keeping me accountable. I'll see you in the next video. As always, I love you, have fun, and be kind.